my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jessie E. This is Ravenclaw and you're watching. I've gotten so many DMs from y'all who are like, where the F have you been? It's been three weeks since I posted my last video and y'all, my life, my life has been wild. So I am three weeks behind my filming schedule, which means y'all get this weird mashup video where I'm going to be giving you updates on the NB book club, the non-binary book club that I started with Crescent Moon Reads. I'm gonna be giving you a much needed update on the state of the booktube awards 2019. I'm also gonna show you a little bit of a haul, just some stuff that I have acquired in the last three weeks that I really, really wanna share with y'all and talk to you for a brief little bit about my life. I've never done like a life update so I guess I'll start with that. Um, my life is trash um, because, uh, so I went to New York and then I went to LA, which is a big part of the reason why I was absent on this channel. And then between those trips, I was working double. So basically I was doing a lot, a lot, a lot of working, a lot of traveling and not a whole lot of reading. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably know that I have a goal of paying off my student loan debt by December 31st of 2020. I'm working very, very hard to make sure that that happens. I have $50,000 worth of student loan debt and I'm gonna smash it out of the park by the end of next year. That's exactly what's gonna happen. I'm putting my time where my mouth is and my financial goals have to come before my channel. I hate to say it, but they do. I think that sometimes taking care of your finances is a form of self-care and paying these loans off now instead of letting them accrue interest over the next 10 years is going to set me up for financial wellness and success. I ended up having surgery last year. That's why I have all of these scars on my hand. If I learned anything from that surgery, from this injury, um, I had to have a tendon reattached. I was out of work for months. I had to have 50 stitches. I almost died. If there's one thing that I learned, it's that your body is not guaranteed and so a part of the reason why I feel a lot of pressure to pay off my loans within the next year is because I'm worried that what if I get sick what if I get critically injured and I can't work and then my loans destroy me so I'm getting them out of the way right now I also went to penguin teen game night it was my first event that I was ever sponsored penguin teen kindly sponsored me to attend the release of these three books they are war girls by Tochi Onyabuchi fireborn by Rosaria Munda and steel tide by Natalie C Parker so I got to meet all of these authors and he them talk about their books in person and that was freaking amazing it was amazing because I loved that penguin teen instead of having these authors come and just talk about their books we all played games together if you watch my black girl magic vlog the video that I posted yesterday you'll see that like I'm playing battleship with Natalie C Parker yo she crushed me she is an animal I played pin the tail on the dragon with Rosaria Munda I also sucked at that. And I got to uh, have a really great conversation with Tochi Onyobuchi. And it was amazing, it was affirming because it's nice to be getting to be getting opportunities, especially because a lot of these opportunities haven't traditionally gone to people who looked like me. And so I guess I'm just like really proud to be working with Penguin Teen with somebody who not only is committed to diversity, but also just sees the value in me and in my channel. That feels really, really good. Oh, and I forgot to mention that after all of this travel and working these doubles, I ended up giving myself a stress cold. Um, my stress cold turned into a pretty rough upper respiratory infection, which then turned into an ear infection, which is why I sound like this. I can't hear out of one ear right now. Self-care, your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Um, I haven't been around anybody who was physically sick and I, I hand sanitize religiously because I'm a huge, huge germaphobe. I always have been. So I know that my cold was caused by my own stress, by me not being a practitioner of my own mental health and standing up for my own mental health. And unfortunately, um, I do live with mental illness, so I can't afford to let my self-care slack. So this is a reminder to me and to y'all um, to take care of your mental health, especially if you have mental illness. Anyway, from Penguin Teen Game Night, that event was amazing. Two things happen that I wanna talk about. The first thing, I want to make a point to read an author's interview of their book before I, I read that book or give a review. Because listening to these people talk about their books, I think provided a context for them that I wouldn't have otherwise. An explanation, a new perspective. And I think that that's maybe something that we don't do a lot on booktube. I don't think a lot of us look out for author interviews. Correct me if I'm wrong and every all of y'all have been doing this and I haven't. I also, at the end of the event, I went to this cafe right across the street and the authors were there and I was getting food to go and they invited me to come and sit and have dinner with them and we ended up sitting in that cafe and talking until the cafe closed. We talked about everything under the sun and by sharing that space with them, <laughs> I realized that I wanna be an author. 
I realized that I've always wanted to be an author. But when I was a kid, I was so heavily discouraged from being an author, actually intentionally and overtly discouraged from being an author. And I'll, ex I'll explain why in another video someday. But it was wild that I had buried this dream of mine that I had so deep inside of me that I forgot about it. And it took me spending time with other authors to realize it and understand it. And I think that that's why it's so important that we go to events and hear other people's perspectives, no matter what the event is. Just to be in a room with somebody else who has the floor to be listening. I think that there's so much value in listening as a society and some of us are not great listeners. And I'm just really, really glad that I got to listen to those people talk because it changed my life. So now for the non-binary book club. For those who don't know, this is a book club that I started with Crescent Moon Reads. Um, I reached out to them months ago in the summer and asked if they wanted to join me on this venture that I had of starting a non-binary book club, a book club where we spotlight books with non-binary protagonists or authors who are non-binary themselves. Crescent has had a lot going on in their life and they have recently dropped out of the book club and I wanted to kind of publicly share that with y'all and let y'all know. They're going through a lot so please lend your support to them, their channel, and just send positive energy their way. The changes for the book club, I have decided that I really want it to be monthly. Sometimes we'll read comics, sometimes we will read full books, we'll read essays. That way y'all can pick and choose when you want to participate, there's no pressure. There is an Instagram, it's NV Book Club, there's a Twitter, it's also NV Book Club, I will leave the link for that down below. In December we're going to be reading The Deep by River Solomon. This is a short speculative fiction novel that reimagines what happened to the African slaves who jumped overboard the ships to escape the transatlantic slave trade. What if those captured Africans hadn't died? What if instead of dying they created a lush underwater community and they survived? Now this book doesn't necessarily center what it means to be non-binary but River Solomon is a non-binary autistic author and I think it's just as important that we support our non-binary authors as it is that we support stories about protagonists who are non-binary. It's 165 pages long so it's going to be very 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 easy to read. A lot of people have said that they read it in one sitting so don't worry about the fact that December is right around the corner. Just get your hands on it and join us for the book club. On the Instagram for the NB book club I have set up tons of highlights. These highlights talk about news and media that center being non-binary. I have an entire highlight featuring non-binary bookstagrammers and booktubers so that you can have resources people to follow so that y'all can find each other. I have a list of non-binary celebrities that include authors. I've got a list of non-binary books, non-binary comics. I have tons and tons of resources. I spend a lot of time doing research and trying to make sure that this page is well-rounded so that everybody has access. I'm going to show you a quick little haul and then I'm going to end this video with talking about the BookTube Awards of 2019. I'm a really big fan of this company called Ghoul Babe and last year I got a pillow from them that says RIP. If you have followed my channel for a while, you have seen this pillow. They're like a really weird spooky kind of gothic company and I just really really love them So this year I decided to get another of their spooky pillows I think I'm going to make this an annual thing every year I'm going to get one of their pillows. These are perfect reading pillows They are so comfortable and so smooth and soft. You know how a lot of pillows are like textured, you know and kind of rough, but this is just ugh. I also got this it pencil case and whenever I take this somewhere people give me compliments I got a free latte because of this case. I also got a sweater that's black and it says Satan's baby girl I just washed it and it's all folded up nice and I don't want to unfold it even though I'm not a girl I had to have this sweater. Okay, it is so dope So because ghoul babe is run by just one person She kind of sends out items as they're ready, which is why I have all of those opened already But these ones I just got in the mail and I haven't actually gotten a chance to look at so this is a sticker It's called the Rajani sticker. Look how cute she is. I just got into bullet journaling pretty hardcore So I'm going to put this in my bullet journal it's it's been so long since I ordered this that I don't even know, I don't even remember what I ordered. Oh, are these buttons? What kind of chastity belt is this? Oh, I got so many buttons. Oh my god, I forgot about this. This crescent moon necklace. I'm gonna put this on right now. Am I spooky yet? And then this one, which is like definitely my favorite. It's a bloody cleaver because of who I am as a person. I am a huge, huge, huge horror movie fan. I always have been. Oh, I forgot about these rings. One of my favorite movies of all time is The Corpse Bride. And I got a set of matching rings of Victor and the Corpse Bride. 
Come on now. I wanted to order everything from their website, okay? I only order like a big haul from them like once a year. Yes! Okay, so yeah, this is Morticia and Gomez Adams from the Adams family. I'm putting these on too, yo. Then I got this amazing sleeve from Reader Monica over on Bookstagram. Look at this, yo. She is one of my Bookstagram friends and she has an amazing uh, sleeve, book sleeve making company. I was not prepared for her to send me one of these. She knows that I'm Mexican and it's honestly the most well made book sleeve that I've personally ever had but it also is personal to me and like, like the quality, there are no loose threads. The stitching is impeccable. I'm gonna leave a link, she has amazing patterns. Definitely, definitely, please, please, please check her out. She also wrote this note. I love cards, if you send me a card, I will keep it for the rest of my life. Jesse, thank you for your support. You are a strong, valuable, and much needed voice. I'm sure that you have no idea how far reaching and meaningful you actually are. Keep speaking and living your truth. There are so many of us rooting for you. Monica. I honestly don't deserve my friends. I just really don't. I also got this peacock bow tie. It's got a chain on it. I mean, so fly. I need more green bow ties. So if y'all come across really cool green bow ties, please let me know. I think that's my only green one. As a present to myself for all of my hard work, I got myself my first piece of art. This is the first piece of art that I've ever purchased, like professional art. It was wicked expensive but I saw it. I could not have Mamakalo in my home. I don't know if you can see the coloring and how it shimmers and shines. I can't wait to hang this up. But last but not least, let's talk about the Booktube Awards. It's just a way to celebrate how diverse our community is, to uplift voices who haven't traditionally been uplifted in Booktube, and also to celebrate and recognize people who have been working hard, who maybe do have bigger channels, but still deserve to be recognized because they're still a part of our community as well. I don't think that one person can represent a community, which is why I decided to have co-hosts this year. The other co-hosts that I have selected are Alexa of Library of Alexa, Meg of Tome Infinity, and Kevin from Story Glyph. Each of these people are so different from each other. They have completely different channels and they bring something completely different to the table. If you watched Common Spence's Booktube Awards announcement video, then you saw all of the categories. All of the categories and the voting threads are on the Twitter page. This year, each of us are taking two categories that we're gonna promote. The first category I have is Innovative Creator. This is a creator that pushes through the bounds of what's possible through innovation, creativity, and experimental content. And the second category I am in charge of is Comedic Creator. A creator who is full of joy, always makes us laugh, and is king, queen, or royalty of wonderful one-liners. I'm going to be producing very specific content, kind of promoting these categories, and making sure that we are spotlighting some innovative and comedic creators. All the information for the Booktube Awards is down below. Make sure you are following the Booktube Awards Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter, just get one, and you can just delete it after the awards. We really heavily encourage people that are, are not booktubers, who are booktube watchers to participate because y'all are like the reason that we're here. And so I would love for you as viewers to participate in the booktube awards. Kevin, Alexa, and Megan's announcement videos will be up like any day now. So I will link their channels too. Just stay tuned and you can hear them talk about which categories that they're hosting. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you became a part of my Dapper family. Feel free to hit that notification bell so that you never miss any content from Bowties and Books. And if you'd like more daily content, follow me on my Instagram, Bowties and Books, because I basically live and pay rent to Instagram at this point. Stay sharp, and I will see you in my next video.